This is Yadi Belly in a foreign once again. You know, been been out of commission for a little bit, not been doing much videos. You know, just been posting on my, my Facebook um, blog mainly. Um, and so I thought it was pertinent to get back into doing videos once again. Now, today I wanted to experiment with a, a well known, uh, a well known American dish, right? And uh, my wifey is the camera person today. Big up the people, in wifey. Shout out to one and all members. Candy says so. <laughs> all right, today I wanted to do a, a, a take on um, a, a European, well, not European, I like. Um, I think it's um, Indian. It's either Indian or Chinese, but I'm only mainly Indian. I feel you can tell me on the blog in your comments. You know, an Indian dish, and it's called chicken satay. Now, chicken satay involves cooking with peanut butter. So, I am gonna be doing that today. And as you see here, I have some chicken breast that I'm preparing now. Please don't beat me over the back or over the head. You know, with how I am preparing my chicken, I am not a gourmet chef, so to speak. I'm just going learning as I go along. And um, I'm going to be doing my chicken in strips. Now, I have the breast and, you know, this is a little tenderloin here that I'm working with. I'm trying to get it as, as, um, as, um, as, as um, thin as I, as I possibly can so that when I cut it into, into lengthwise strips, it will be good and nice. And I'm also trying to get them on one uh, thickness level so that they evenly cook. Now... I, I have a, a certain level of challenges that um, I am presented with in that I don't have a grill and these would be nicely grilled but I am um, going to try to manipulate my way along as we go along. But this is what we're going to be doing, right? Uh, we're going to be using some uh, cilantro. We're going to be using peanut butter and as you see here, my peanut butter is not in a... a, a uh, processed uh, container this is because I bought my peanut butter from uh, Whole Foods and it is only peanut no not Whole Foods it's like I know Whole Foods you can't tell me say, the, the wrong place me I thought about fresh market ladies and gentlemen and I, I actually grind this peanut butter myself you know that's one of the good thing I like about fresh market when you go there you can um, make your own fresh peanut butter without any additive no salt no nothing and I also made, I also have a little bit of almond butter just to show off. You know, this is um, fresh almond butter and I use this in my smoothies. Alright, so I'm going to be doing that with the, the peanut butter with a little bit of lemon, uh, a little bit of barbecue sauce and we have black pepper. Um, I found that olive oil is, is, you know, not as expensive as we thought it was. Very good quality olive oil can be had. Uh, in this case, I went to Big Lots and we got olive oil at a very good price. Now, now it means you're going to buy less oil, but better oil. All right? Because, you know, oil expensive when I really go, you know. But I've been using olive oil for a while and that works very good for me. Now, no salt seasoning is also available at Fresh Lots, at, at um, Big Lots. Yeah, you hear me? foolishness. Stop laughing after me now. Sure. Hey, big lots give me this no salt seasoning and it's very very good ladies and gentlemen very very good you know i mean Only trust a me buck. one buck trust me this is right and this is for a dollar right yep. and i'm gonna use a little bit of adobo that's gonna be my salt replacement for the, this dish as simple as you see it here that's what it is you know um that's the the main composition of the dish what i'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut my, my, my chicken into strips, as I said before, lengthwise strips, not too thick, not too wide, um, so that they can uh, basically, all right, let me see, this is, this is okay, or should I cut it wide, um, not more narrow? Okay, same. It's okay. That is okay. All right, so generally that's going to be the size. So we have one here in the, in the, in the container, two, um, I can, I can manipulate this a little bit more. Because what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the, the actual part that is called satay, is that I am going to be skewering my chicken on bamboo skewers. All right? The same thing that you would use 
to make kebabs um you know but uh what i'm doing now is i'm soaking these in in a bit of water so that when i try to cook with them it won't burn and you won't get the half taste in your chicken so i'm gonna be skewering my chicken um on bamboo skewers and from there you know we will basically show you the finished product um i'm gonna i'm gonna be cutting up now making sure i get my strips how i want them then when i'm ready to skewer i will come back and let you see the this the finished product with um basically skewered you know my favorite word is basically right um so that's what you're gonna see just bits of chicken skewered as much as i possibly can i'm gonna get it on the skewer so next police, skewer is your police are passed so next skewer is your word skewer Oh, I've been saying skewer a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. Oh, Lord. So I'm going to skewer, and then I'm skewering, <laughs> and after I done, I skewer again. <laughs> but I do hope that this is going to be a very nice dish, and that you yourself will, will spend some time in exploration of the different tastes that are available in your neck of the woods. You know, I, I mean, we're Jamaicans, and our motto says, out of many, one people. Yeah. You know, um... And it simply means that we, we are, we are a, a people out of, with a whole lot of heritage, a whole lot of uh, background. And so anywhere we go, we adapt, you know. And so that's one of the things that I wanted uh, to explore, our, our adapting in different regions. And as, you, as I said before, please don't judge me on my knife skills. I'm just trying to make sure that I maximize the potential of the chicken that's available to us. So my different ways of cutting, you know, bear with me, all right? I'm supposed to cut against the grain. Well, not, I mean, I know if chicken, um, you know, that rationale, eh? Mm -hmm. But, um, hopefully, it cut right against the grain or whatever, you know. I just want to send a shout out to the folks who listen, who, who pay attention to me on, on Facebook and on uh, YouTube as well. You know, it's it's a it's an audious task to, you know, come out with different ideas, but, um, you know, you support it anyway. So as I said, we're gonna get right back with the the process, the finished process, and um, then we will also uh, show you how we skewer all of this onto our bamboo skewers, right? Word of the day, skewer. Okay, folks. All right, here I have my chicken um, all sliced up. Now I'm going to prepare the marinade. And I'm going to do this real, real quick for you using my, my magic bullet, of course. Um, see it here? My look, why do you look so much? My magic bullet, of course. All right. You know, if you find it, every single thing, you know, just take a wide angle. Yeah? All right. I'm going to use um, some garlic. Even though the recipe don't call for garlic, what the recipe call for again, see? It calls for cilantro, barbecue sauce, uh, peanut butter, and lime juice. Yeah, but me like garlic. So I'm going to put garlic. Typical Jamaican. Um, this is about two teaspoons of cilantro. That looks too much to me. It looks too much? Alright, what I'm going to do is cut out the, the, the stem part. Cut the stem part, them strong, right? And use it, make tea. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, for kidney, for your kidneys, you know, drink um, some some cilantro tea um, to flush your kidneys out. It's the best thing to flush out your kidney. All right. So them said two tablespoon of cilantro, but me not think so. Cause cilantro sort of strongish, you know. This is one of the thing about us and about me, especially. You know, I will take whatever recipe i get and i will modify it to my taste you understand because me, me, me can't you know some of the taste is too far out and then on top of that the wife you don't like cilantro that enough yes all right you don't have to go down in this chow mm -hmm. and then them say barbecue sauce yes all right may i use honey hickory smoked barbecue sauce um you know, uh, not they said original because the original don't carry that much flavor. It's just, you know, it's just barbecue flavor. Um, they said um, 
peanut butter and this peanut butter ladies and gentlemen is not gonna be creamy because as I said before it's organic and I, I did it myself you know but at least it will be without the the influx of chemicals and sweeteners and excessive salt and all them something there. and it tastes good too preservatives and ray mm-hmm mm -hmm. and you know people can have it here and peanut butter hard to eat when you attack and let me put some of this well i can sprinkle this on this the chicken itself right right mm -hmm. as i said we're, we're trying to avoid the salt so this is a saltless um seasoning and it's very good ladies and gentlemen i totally recommend this one especially for those of you who have high blood pressure which one is that though this is the no salt seasoning from um big lots and it says fresh find no salt seasoning it's a generic um product that is available at big lots they have a whole line of of that seasoning and i'm going to use a little bit of adobe um and that will that will basically replace my salt okay um black pepper we have any black pepper left by the way a little a little bit and uh, well i'm gonna put the olive oil in this container and um the olive oil will aid with the marination i'm gonna put a little bit a little bit of water you think no no put honey no but more, one must put oh lime thank you the lime and the coconut drink and this is um we re if you notice we replace the, the the yellow one with the with the green one because we did have a yellow one at the front and we don't want them to see a camera trick mm, yeah so we realized it called for lime and not lemon so right and so we're in foreign we have both lemon and lime <laughs> and by the way ladies and gentlemen when you're finished with this you can put a little bit of honey on this and use it as a, a cleanser for your face all right let me just give you the info because i'm i'm down with the natural products and something and my wife is gonna put it on her face and i'm gonna put it on my face lemon lemon what for the face then the same thing no lime and lemon are the same thing no them so are the same well let your people debate about it but i say no ladies and gentlemen don't lime and lemon are the same thing no. i think so you know, they're just trying to be technical. I, I think, feel it. I think one is harsher than the other. One is more acidic. All right. Come now, on. I'm going to put a little bit of water just to help me with them, with all this um, shake up and now. You know, and um, I'm sure this is going to be good. So what will happen, ladies and gentlemen, is that I will basically toss this in my, in my magic bullet. we have our finished marinade and then we will just pour this onto our chicken we just pour this onto our chicken and we will cover with some uh, clear wrap or something yeah airtight foil if you have it and we will allow this to marinate for maybe an hour and then we will start to assemble our skewers all right okay so ladies and gentlemen this is the first stage of our experimental chicken satay dish uh, with of course our jamaican flair i totally didn't put the pepper the country pepper in it but don't worry about that i have a little bit of country pepper sauce a, um, sauce that i've saved in the fridge so i will add a little bit of my hot pepper sauce in it a little because the wife you know really like the pepper all right so when we come back this is actually as you see marinating very nicely the smell is uh, uh, very very good it's a unique smell with that uh peanut butter and that barbecue sauce and all of those things coming together nicely and so uh see you in just a little bit uh, i'll give this an hour to marinate and then we will be back all right okie dokie okay folks here we are uh, just making our, our our satays and uh, as you see it involves just putting our, our chicken on the skewer 
you know, and uh, making sure that it is properly layered. Um, our satays will be, I'm going to make do a makeshift grill as I told you, which involves basically uh, putting a, a grill in my oven and having the chicken uh, be broiled instead of uh, baked. And so it will come out nice and, and, and wonderful just the same. All right, but uh, the, the meat has been marinating for about an hour and the, the smell is awesome first and foremost. That, that peanut butter smell, well, I don't know if it's the organic peanut butter or what, but it has a nutty uh, type of smell. You smell it, see? Yeah. It, it smells really, you know, it just smells unique. You know, and um, it's just permeating through the whole house when I open the the um, container to rem you know to to start skewering my my meat. Um, I hope that these grill grill up nicely and the color. You know, again, if you have a grill at home, by by all means, this must be done on the grill. You know, um, it is just it just one hundred percent better. But unfortunately, we don't reach this yet in a foreign. To buy with grill and something something yet you know so we're just doing what we, again jamaicans being as innovative as we are we will make do with what we have right so i am totally loving what i'm seeing being done here as a matter of fact when i told a little boy that i was doing um this type of meal he said yeah, um, if i was doing it on the skewer and i said yes and he started jumping up and down because you know him frightened over foreign food right so i do hope that you will enjoy this of course we're gonna do um uh, my wife says she want broccoli and stuff for dinner and all of that but me feel like say some rice would have work well with this what you all think you know let me know in your comments what you all think but uh there is uh, my prepared chicken satay i'm gonna let me just show you um quickly the idea behind the oven show, show them what is happening in the oven see so this is what I did. I put the grill in, just a little small grill, into a, a baking sheet of water. And then I have the, the um, broiler on so that I will get my chicken being broiled but not necessarily being um, burnt, you know. I, I don't know. You all got to work with me on this one. And when we come back, you know, the next thing I will be showing you is my finished product all plated and everything and presented nicely how it's supposed to present all right so once again ladies and gentlemen that's our, our chicken satay you know with pe well well i think satay in you know tell us a peanut already right yeah right so let's see what happens at the end of the day yeah the belly in a farina. so here we have it folks the finished uh product it's our chicken satay, nicely decorated. You see, my me pop style with the plate door, you know. Of course, you know, the color is a little bit, the, the, I put it under the broiler, and so the broiler, you know, give me a little bit of a, a um, you know, well done effect. And of course, the sugars in the, in the saw, in the, the marinade made it brown up very, very quickly, you know. But as you see, I'm nicely decorating my plates here. You know, and this is going to be served with some uh, peanut sauce that I made, homemade peanut sauce. And of course, this is done with using the marinade and, uh, you know, just adding a little bit more ingredients to, uh, to it to make it very, very nice. Uh, next thing is that we're going to be serving this with some rice. And uh, my wife did make the rice with uh what you put a scallion and a little bit of ginger in the rice you know and this is jasmine rice of course so of course you know we're gonna get a nice flavor from that right now she is just making some stir fry vegetable which is about to be shut off uh she added a little bit of um uh lee kum key oyster flavor sauce to that and a little bit of our uh, non no salt seasoning as, as usual so the next video that you're gonna see well the next stage is to plate it but as you can see based on what we have here you might can might just leave it at that you know and then what we'll do what I'll do is I'll post a picture on yardybelly.com Facebook you know yardybelly um, you know so ladies and gentlemen this is my first time doing this one you know uh, satay chicken it may not be the same way in which you do yours 
but we do hope that you like it nonetheless enough to be inspired to try it on your own i've decorated the plate with some cilantro some lime uh, a little bit of honey drizzled over and dotted around it with some sriracha which is one of my nice ones the little boy hungry him same want him food so may i go share the little boy food and make sure say he get something to eat love you all thank you for supporting remember to like the page at yardy belly uh, facebook.com slash yardy belly have yourself a good day bless up